Induction. So I just read for about an hour and a half. I didn't really vibe with like the piano axiom definition of the integers. Until now, now I'm like, oh, I, this is starting to make sense. I'll go over that later though. Now I just wanna share what I do sometimes. In a break, whatever, I'll just go wander the shelves and just look at the titles, try to get myself fired, not try to get myself fired up, just get fired up, cause it's hype. Seeing some of the titles out there, it's like, oh, I wanna know that. Ooh la la, bro, bro. Yes, please. Fine, I guess I'll learn it. No idea what that is, but it sounds awful. Heard about these things, and apparently they're annoying as shit. Seems riveting. Heard good things about this book. Been there, done that. Up until the point where you started talking about complex analysis, because then I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I had to take a course in complex analysis as well. So that'll be like, not a course, an autodidactic course. Ooh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Number theory. Gross. Nasty. Highly recommend this book, The Mathematical Experience by Philip J. Davis and Ruben Hirsch. Really got me hyped up on math. It gave me a big broad level overview, which was incredibly helpful. Very good book though. I don't know why it is, but they just seem to cut stumps and leave them here. It's like five of these on campus. All right, I'm heading home. I'm gonna do a little presentation on mathematical logic and induction. We'll see what I'm vibing with when I get there. One, two, three, take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Oh, let's slide, baby. You like that hood slide? Yeah. Math, dude. I had to turn the camera off because all the ladies in the parking lot were swarming. They were like, oh, who's this 80s action movie star? Oh my goodness. So, yeah, a little bit of a delay there. And then I was like, you know, I have a math YouTube and they're like, oh, math? Oh my God, really? Dropping the math cards, like, you know, that's, you, you're good. It's like saying you're the quarterback for an NFL team, really. It's like, yeah, I, I know numbers. And they're like, oh my God, really? So, yeah. Where was I going with this? Okay. Induction, 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 induction. More like compluction, am I right? So induction, here's induction for you. If I give you one, this is, this is, this is one. You have one here, right? This is a, the number one. And you have the ability, I give you, also give you the tool. I give you the tool, you have a tool in your tool belt and I say that tool means add one. So that's all you can do. You have one, start with this. This is all you can start with. It's the only thing you can affect. And you have the tool of adding one. So now you can go, Add one, two now, now you have two. And we're kind of considering all of, one is in, now one is in your set. You can kind of take a snapshot every time you do this. So one's in your set at the beginning. And then you, you take, you add one, now you two. So you take a snapshot, now two is in your set. Add one to it, three. Now three's in your set. So now in your set, you have one, two, three. And I give you the ability just to add one whenever you want to. You have the one, so you can just basically, you have one and you can do this action to it. You have a thing and you can do this action to it as many times as you'd like. You can go another one, four. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And each time you're just adding one. You're going with a hammer. I got a hammer here, actually. I'll use that. Where did I have that? I just saw it. Just saw it. Out of the corner of my eye. There we go. Right here, right here. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on. I view it like a tool, a tool, right? And you go like, bam, add one. Bam, add one. Bam, add one, right? Bam, and you get it. Bam, add one. Bam, add one, right? Okay, so you get the point. And so that's the principle of induction is you have some state, the beginning state, and you have the ability to do something to that state, and you can do this as much as you'd like. You have a tool, and you, you can you can just you can just keep on right hammering that shit. You can also have multiple tools, so that then it gets a little bit more complicated. Say this is like a, another tool, so you can have some initial state, right? And you can go bam, and maybe, what does that do? What does that do? What does that do? Maybe that adds like an upside down card. That'll do, right? And now we're moving away from. This is no longer numbers. This is just this is just an initial state, and we have some tools to operate on that state. Maybe I don't know if the upside down card is the best example. Whatever. And so then we go like bam, right? So now we have one up, one face up card, and two. We're gonna start with. So let's say now, now that this is our start state, right? One down, one face up. So we're gonna start again with two tools now. One face down, one face up. And I say, this is the tool that adds one face up card. And this is a tool, same thing, adds one face down card. And each state is like, you take the amount of face up cards or face down cards and Bob's your uncle, right? So I can go bam, 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 and add five, you know, or like bam, one, bam, one. Cause each time you use the tool, you can only add one, bam, bam, bam. And this gives you the set of all two dimensional vectors of cards. <laughs> so this is like bracket, comma, 
this up face up cards face down cards i don't know if the card is the best example but the, the the main idea i'm trying to get at here is uh and i got i'm gonna do a whole presentation on this because i can explain this better so if you're confused by mathematical induction don't don't be confused and, and especially don't take don't take this as it but also reading books is gonna make you even more confused it's, it's not explained that great regardless so you have some state of things right you have a beginning state and then you have some ability to manipulate that state i mean you can use that ability as much as you'd like right Shit. I mean, another way you could say it is like you have some cards. Maybe maybe it's card book, right? So it's card and then book. And then maybe another book. Maybe another book. And then maybe two cards, right? Oh. And so this, you can kind of see how this is going to create a lot more complicated structure because it's like there's an, a lot of different stuff. You have like four items. They could be card, 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 card. It could be card, 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 book. It could be card, card, book, card. It could be card, card, book, book. And it could just keep going on and on. So you can create a lot of different structures like this. But you have some start state and you have some tools. You can affect that start state and build this whole structure. It's like bricks and mortar. You have a brick mortar. You can make a bunch of different structures with it. That's the principle of induction. You have some start state. You have some tool or tools that you can use to affect that start state. And you can use that tool infinitely and create a, a set. That's induction for you. Now, I already rambled on too long. I was going to go into a rant about the textbook, um, but I'll do that tomorrow because that'll be a dedicated video on effectively just why mathematical writing is just so terrible. I'm, I'm fired up because I think we can fix it. I really, I think it's fixable. I don't think it's fixable. I know it's fixable. It can be written in a better way. No offense to the math writers of the past, but it, it, the whole thing is just fun. It's not easy for the beginner and it's not really written for the beginner despite the fact that books are dedicated to the beginner. Either they're not rigorous enough or they're, like they're too terse. There's like, and there is a happy medium. I've seen it. It's not an idea. Like this is not naive me saying this. I'm saying it is possible uh, and we should do it. I think the auto detectees are a pretty, pretty cool bunch. I think, I think we're goaded with the sauce. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased. Definitely biased. I think, I think we're fucking sick. But yeah, without further ado, that's induction, kind of. But you can define it rigorously. I gotta go to bed. I gotta edit this. But you can define it rigorously and the definition gets really annoying. But that's what you're doing. You're having some start state, you affect it, brrr, you have some tools, brrr, and then induction for you. That's how you make the real numbers, the piano axioms, yada, yada, yada. It gets really annoying. Structure comes up a ton in math. Vectors. We're talking vectors, vector spaces, basis vectors. We're talking natural numbers. We're talking groups as uh, generating, generating group generating elements of groups. There's just a ton of different things this comes up in and we'll go over that again though on the blackboard when I have time for that. But that has been the daily one for May number six. I have been your host, Autodidact, AKA Tucker. Thank you for joining me on this quest. Take it easy, I love you, Godspeed. And uh, I will see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. All right. Ow! Because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I said you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey?